in this video I am going to uh, show you scroll function that I have created for my Arduino LCD so this function has got name of a scroller and it takes in certain argument which I will be discussing shortly this function is available on my blog as well you can find it from there so here is this function which we are using so it has got certain inputs character array 1 which we want to scroll and size of that character array 1 then it has got character array 2 and size of that character array 2 ok so for both the rows if you want to scroll so we have character array 1 and character array 2 next we have this direction so direction could be left left scroll so for that we have capital L then right scroll so capital R and for both directions that is left and right scroll we have capital B for both directions then we have this parameter for row that either we want to rotate or scroll in first row or in second row and if this value is changed from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 for both it will swap character array 1 and character array 2's position in rows then we have this delay delay is for controlling speed so this function mainly consists of three parts that is a scroll in both directions left and right then it contains part scroll to right and scroll to left okay so these are the three main part of this function So these are the two uh, character arrays that we are going to scroll. So I have placed this function in for loop so that it is scrolled twice only. And dir is variable for direction, which is going to be taken in serial with serial input. So I am uploading this code. Finally it is uploaded. It is done. And now time for inputs and checking it. So first of all I have placed in capital L that is for left. So now my character array 2 that was a scroll function is moving left and it will do it twice as it is in for loop ok so it was scrolling then we have this capital R for scrolling right now my character array 1 when it will scroll towards right and in first row of my LCD. As for row, I have uh, placed zero there, so that's why everything is happening in first row for now. For left and right scroll. Now time for both scroll, like both directions. So character array one will be moving towards right and character array 2 will be moving towards left so now they both are moving in opposite directions and that too will happen twice of course
again I will make changes uh, I am changing parameter of row from 0 to 1 so now I will be scrolling left and right in second row and it will swap positions of array 1 and array 2 when I have got both the values of character array 1 and character array 2 character array 1 will scroll towards right and character array 2 will scroll towards left if both the array contain values and none of them is null ok so now I am uploading this code and code will soon be up uploaded now capital L for left scroll so character array 2 will scroll left and now it is happening in second row now for right scroll I have placed capital R So character array 1 will scroll towards right when both arrays have got values character array 1 will scroll right character array 2 will scroll left if both of them had got value now time for both now this will swap the positions character array 2 is in first row and character array 1 is now in second row so the position of rows have been swapped for both condition I will be making changes to my function to my program and I'll do I'll erase character array 2 and I'll place null value in it so now I'll be scrolling character array 1 only in left and right direction and my function is taking two character array input so I cannot just completely erase it or completely remove it I'll have to place null value inside it either in character array 1 or in character array 2 that is a matter of choice so the code has been up uploaded and now I am placing in capital L for left scroll and now character array 1 will scroll left now for right now this same character array 1 will scroll in right direction so now it is scrolling right Now when I will select both, this same character array 1 uh, will move in first and second row but in opposite directions. So character array 1 is in first row as well as it is in second row and it is moving in opposite directions in both rows uh, when I have used both. Okay, now I'm going to make changes to my function and we'll have one row static now second row will be static and in first row uh, we'll be scrolling character array 1 so I've changed it to 0 and I'm uploading the code
ओके सो द कोड हैज बीन अपलोडेड ओके नाउ इट हैज बीन अपलोडेड इट इज इन सेकेंड रो स्टेटिक टेक्स्ट इज इन सेकेंड रो एंड कैरेक्टर एरे वन विल बी स्क्रॉलिंग इन फर्स्ट रो सो आई हैव इनपुट इट एल इट विल बी स्क्रॉलिंग लेफ्ट now right it will be scrolling it right so the second row is static and only first row is moving i want to place in teacher i might have to change it in character before i could print it on my lcd this function as this function is taking only character arrays so here is this function of ours if i would have used both uh in that case for static text then it would have happened like my static text would have been removed and i would have character one uh, scrolling in first row as well as in second row 